some people say that the Bible says to not judge. First of all, show me where in the Bible where it says to not judge. <laughs> Many people are not going to be able to find it because people take things out of context. Number two, it is one thing if I come to you and say to you, you dirty, filthy sinner, you are going straight to hell and you are not going to do any good in life. You are scum. You are, let's say I say some more mean things to you. That is insulting. Me telling you what the Bible says and me insulting you is two different things. It is not the same thing. If you believe that going around and telling people what the Bible says is judging people, listen. Many people don't read the Bible. Even people that call themselves Christian don't really <laughs> read the Bible. There aren't too many people that go to church. So if many people aren't going to church, if many people aren't reading the Bible, how else is the word of God going to be spread around? By teachers. So if you believe that I have no right to tell you what the Bible says because you believe that I am offending you or I am judging you, that makes no sense. That is demonic. Let's go to 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. All scripture is given by inspiration of God. Well, Kevin, since the Bible is not made by God, I am not going to be, I am not going to read it. As you can see here, whoever wrote the Bible, God inspired that person or those people. Yes, he did not write it word for word in every Bible, but the words are inspired by God. So you have to read it. You have to take it in. And it's profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction and in righteousness. If we don't follow what the Bible says, how in the world are we going to make it to heaven? The chaos that you see in this world now is due to because people choose to not follow what the Bible says. When some people get raped or hurt in some type of way, when babies die by whatever, people like to blame God. <laughs> when people choose to not follow what the Bible says, chaos is going to happen. So how can you blame God? It would make so much sense to follow the rules of the person that made us, other than believing yourself 
to be much wiser than God and believe that you know better how to conduct your life than the creator of all. So because of your pride, because of your arrogance, <laughs> we are suffering now. We have to follow the Bible. What if everyone would follow the Bible? I am telling you, this life would be a much better place, much better. So let me stop here. I pray that this makes sense to you. Follow what the Bible is saying. If you don't, hey, we are going to continue to have a horrible world. God bless you.